Now in this video, we are going to understand that how to prepare a student mark sheet in Microsoft Excel application with the labels of total marks, average, rank and pass, fail and also about the status, right? So let us start with uh, calculating a total marks. And the total marks is that I am going to enter the formula for sum. So we have the subject 1 and the subject 1 cell address is at C2 and the subject 6 the cell address is H2. So very simple equals to sum equals to sum open bracket and here I select the subject 1 that is C2 and it will just drag down to the last subject that is H2 and directly close the bracket and press enter. And here the total marks of the student rows is a 431 and simply uh, select the cell and click on the uh, dragger handler. So when you move upon the cell you will get a plus sign in the black color. So just simply hold on and just drag down. Yes. So, the, so here uh, Mr. Ram is the person who is getting the highest marks out of uh, uh, 600 he's, he's, he, he secured. Uh, 575 marks and uh, next year I would like to get the the average marks of the student so simply equals to equals to average equals to average and simply select from subject 1 to subject 6 and directly close the bracket and press enter and average is 71.83 or else you also can do directly uh, equals to select total marks by number of subjects 6 the same 71.83 you simply just drag down and here the marks here the uh, average of the student very simple e equals to rank open bracket i would like to compare the marks rank of 431 that means i2 comma in the range what is the range address i2 to i11 then you just simply enter dollar i dollar 2 colon just before the address just add dollar sign to fix a standard input range i22 two, two, uh, that means dollar i dollar 2 till where again i11 if the address is i11 then you enter dollar i dollar 11 then simply close then press enter then it, then now this time if you want to drag down to still, still last cell even in the last cell also it is taking a standard input so this is how it works and here i just change it manually so I'll do one thing, I'll just drag it down, yes. Now this person is getting a 600 marks, so the person is awarded to rank number 1. If I change anything here, and again 80, again 80, 80, 80, 80. Okay, so the person is getting the highest marks of 480, so don't worry, I'll be changing uh, here I'll just keep it zero. Now this time you can see that deep person has awarded as fifth rank, and the person who is getting four seventy seven is the highest marks, right? So next we will understand that how to calculate pass or fail, and on what is the condition the a student should get greater than or equals to thirty five in each subject will be given a status as pass or else fail. Is it correct? So now we need to compare each subject, right? So here we cannot compare if by using if function we can compare by using uh, if function we can compare we can perform only one logical test correct if you like to perform multiple logical test that means see if you are using only if for example only subject one if c2 that means subject one is greater than 35 comma if the value is true pass or else fail so you can by, by using if formula you can you can you can perform only one logical test the, here, whether they are pass or fail but now these time you like to compare uh, total six test because the person should get greater than or equal to 35 in each subject that means number of six subjects so here we should perform six logical tests so we cannot use a single if formula so we're going to add e equals to if again equals to if open bracket and then open bracket so i and help you to add multiple logical tests so e equals to if open bracket and what is the first logical test subject 1 greater than or equals to 35 
comma what is the logical test to what is the logical test to again subject to greater than or equals to 35 comma logical test 4 logical test 3 select this subject uh, the, that's e2 that means subject 3 greater than or equal to 35 comma again subject 4 greater than or equal to 35 comma subject 5 greater than or equal to 35 comma the last logical test that is the sixth logical test that is uh, h2 greater than or equal to 35 now it is done right then simply close the bracket comma so in all these subjects if c2 is greater than or equal to 35 if d2 greater than or equal to 35 if in all subjects if the person is getting greater than or equals to 35 then the person will be given as the result double comma open because they are going to add a test double comma open p a s s pass double comma close comma if it is if any of the logical test is dissatisfied then i would like to it will become as a false false statement so i would like to print as f a i l double comma close then close the bracket so how simple it then directly press enter so so here the person in all subjects is getting greater than or equal to 35 so the person given the statement as false then simply drag it down that's it and here you can see that all these students are having pay fail because they are getting 18 and 13 here if i change if i change this marks to 35 automatically the student status has been changed from fail to pass is correct and next we'll be using the status of uh, whether they are getting a distinction marks or good or poor that based on the a uh, percentage right so the simply e equals to e equals to if open bracket e equals to if open bracket what is the logical test if the percentage is greater than 75 comma double comma open distinction double comma close comma i'm not see here, here the system is asking value if false but here i'm going to add one more if because we, it means we are going to add a nested if if formula within the if is known as nested if right so i'm going to instead of giving false again i'm starting if again if if j2 is greater than 35 distinction again if j2 is greater than 50 double comma open double comma open comma uh, if, if it is more than 50 then I would like to show as good because good comma if if it is not more than 75 then it goes for whether it, uh, if it is if it is not see first system understand to calculate achha, whether the this j2 is more than 35 or not if it is more than 35 directly shows the so shows the result as distinction if it is not more than 75 then it is going to jump to calculate whether it is more than 50 if it is more than 50 it is going to show the show the result as good if the both if the both tests are failed that means it is it is less than less than uh, 50 then i would like to show as uh, what is that it's poor right poor then double comma close close the bracket then press enter maybe i yes i need to see here uh, we, I, ha I have one bracket is open again one more bracket is open so we need to close it two times so here the system is going to show the same thing but you want to accept the correction yes of course yes here the system added one more bracket don't worry so simply just drag it down yes automatically all the student data has been converted if you want to make any changes in this automatically all the data will get changed here 90 90 90 now 70 now still the student is showing the status as failed because the person here is getting only 32 if you, if you make it 35 the status has been changed from fail to pass again if i giving a 90 again 90 still now this person the status has been changed from good to again distinction so this is how simple it is thank you and all, not only this we also if you want to color this thing then simply select the total marks i would like to give a color 
uh, if the marks are more than 35 i like to give a green color so simply select the range and go to a home menu in the home menu click on conditional formatting there you can see highlight cell rules greater than greater than greater than greater than 35 i would like to show as a green color of course light red here green then okay so here the green color has been taken again select the same range i would like to again select the same range go to condition formatting highlight cell rules uh, less than 35 less than 35 i like to show as a red color so simply select less than 35 then this thing then click on okay that's it so this is how simple it is thank you